Good morning everybody. Well this morning I'm going to take you to a nature reserve and the reason I'm going to do that is because I've had a few comments, a few requests to disclose locations of the wildlife that I've photographed. Now I hope you understand it's very difficult for me to do that because I've got to protect the wildlife and also the landowners, the farmers, the public in the villages because if you've got an influx of photographers, of people, all of what go, it could become quite annoying for them. So I'm unable to give the location, but don't forget a massive part of wildlife photography is the hunting of the species anyway. Get a target species and hunt it down and find it and find locations yourself. That's part of the fun. So I don't really want to spoil your fun. But what I've decided to do is go to Oldmore Nature Reserve. It's owned by the RSPB and it's a wonderful reserve, but that is designed for public to go to. It's designed for photographers, for birders, because they have hides, but they also have screens as you walk up to the hide. So you're not going to be disturbing any wildlife. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video and um, we'll see what we can get. So it's the middle of September, we've arrived at um, Dern Valley Oldmore Nature Reserve. So as you can see there, there's a hide, but either side of it, as you approach to the hide, are these big screens of bushes. So you're not disturbing the wildlife at all. So you can get down to the hide, both sides are completely covered in.
Well, I hope I've shown you a few things at Oldmore. It's a really nice reserve. Um, there's plenty to see. You've obviously got to put some time in. Yeah, so that's it for Oldmore today. All I could do now is I'm going to drive up the road about 30 minutes drive to another reserve and that's called Fair Burnings. So let's see what we can get there. Okay, so that was Old Moor. It is a fabulous day out. As we was coming out in the car park, a sparrow hawk flew straight at me. That's how it goes. Well, we've now arrived at another nature reserve. This one, again, is run by the RSPB and it's called Fair Burnings. So let's see what we can go and get here. So here, this is where I got my very first diving kingfisher. There's a stream behind these um, screens, so you've got the holes there that you're looking through. And um, I got my very first diving kingfisher coming out of the water. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. That made my day then, but I'm talking quite a few years ago now. So just have a look through this hole here. The one I got was on the right and what I did was I focused on the bird and then I locked the focus because I was on back button focus I locked the focus as he dived I fired off the shots okay well where that kingfisher screen is up the sort of up the lane from that there are two more hides and they're a long way off they are a long way off, I can remember it a good walk one summer. But they're up there, um, you do need telescopes up there to be fair. It's a big expanse of water, It's not. they're not really for photographers, everything's going to be too far away so I'm not going to go up there. So I've just, it's a fleeting glimpse really of um, fair burnings, just to show you what it's like. So we're just going to nip down the road now on the way back to one called Pottery Car. And let's uh, just have a quick look at that one, I'll show you that one. So this is Pottery Car and this is run by the Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. So we'll have a quick walk around and uh, I'll show you what's the layout here.
So this is called Piper Hide. And I'll show you in a minute from the, uh, the back. Now, as you can see, looking over here, it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely fabulous. And of course, you never know what's going to turn up. As you know, this is just really a fleeting visit for us to show you hot spots and parts of it. Now, you see that little island there to the right, was that, that, that's a little bank there. And there's, uh, in the past, there's been kingfishers nesting in that bank. And of course, we're far enough away from it to be able to photograph it. If you can see that post, they come and sit on there. And we've often seen a couple of kingfishers over there. Um, I've seen foxes walking around the margins. It is a stunning place. I've seen, I've seen all sorts here over the years. And I've got very fond memories of it because this is where I started to learn and hone my photographic skills. I think your best chance of getting something really is more towards the winter and obviously in the spring when everything's jumping around, nesting, but you can't get away from it. If you're sat here, you could be anywhere in the world. It's beautiful. Well, I've just had about three quarters of an hour in that hide and it's been absolutely fantastic. I've had all sorts of shots. Because the light was behind me, as a swan was coming to me, right, all his, all his um, uh, underwing, all lit up. Yeah, I've had some ducks, I've had the heron hunting. Yeah, but because the light's been on them, it's been fantastic. Now, it's not always about getting a new species yeah, with wildlife photography, it's about getting the species that you've got before, but a better picture of them. So they're doing something different or they're lit differently. So that's what it's about. So I can take pictures all day of species I've already got pictures of, but if they're doing something different, happy days. That's what I really enjoy. And the reason why I looked at there a bit, if you just turn to your left on the tree here, I thought that was a, I didn't, well, I didn't know what that was then, and obviously it's a plastic dragonfly. <laughs> See, you never know what you're going to get, and you've got your finger over the lens, so that's no good. So you see, you never know what you're going to get. See, you never know what you're going to get. We've even got plastic dragonflies. So I'm just sat in another hide, and as you can see now, it's golden hour. The sun's setting behind me, but it's still lighting everything up. And a hobby has just flown over really low over the water, and then come straight to me. So I'll show you the pictures there. Absolutely brilliant. I've only been here probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours now. Um, it's now coming to the end of my day. So this is the third um, reserve that I've been to to show you exactly what's out there. And they're all in uh, the South Yorkshire area. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe, tick the like button and leave a comment if you wish. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.